Yes, my beautiful people. This morning, I have my pork over here. Well seasoned from marinated from last night. So I'm gonna get it on the fire now, guys. I'm gonna do a pot roast with brown stew chicken. And this is my chicken, guys. And I'm gonna brown stew. So stay tuned until I yes, guys. Putting in my bell pepper. My onion, my scallion, my garlic, and my scotchy. So when I'm putting on my peas, I put all these things in the peas to cook. To cook with my peas. So it give it a, a taste and a flavor. Mm -hmm. This on the fire. I'm going to turn the fire on on the meat also. And I have my water in the kettle boiling to tip tip on my pork, on my pork, my pot roast. And I'm gonna squeeze my coconut now, guys. Let it cover. See my milk there, rich and creamy. Stay tuned. Yes, guys, and see, this is the pineapple that to make the pineapple juice. This is to make the carrot with the milk, with the sugar and ginger. And this one is to mix with mistake, no ginger. I'm not supposed to drink the ginger. So I'm gonna mix it with lime and sugar. And this one, and the fire boiling, is going to make with milk, suffragette, and gin, and dragon stout. So stay tuned, guys. Yes, guys, the peas is boiling up, so I'm gonna sink it with some of the milk now, guys. Let me take something to taste with the milk. camera guys I cut up these is to go into my stir fry cabbage as vegetable that's the cabbage I cut up the yellow bell pepper the green bell pepper and some like red and red piece of red one with the carrots these is to do my stir fry vegetable stir fry So what I'm going to put tonight, just a little vinegar, 
and a little sugar to stir fry and a piece of butter and then I have two salad and cucumber on the side with fried plantains that's my vegetable guys you know I like to cook my food with vegetables let the food look more appropriate and tasty looking good if you don't know you're gonna know that is it yes that's my stir fry vegetable that's it I'm ready to stir fry it. When I almost finished, then I'm gonna put that make sure only prepared it. Prepared for you guys to see. Stay tuned guys. Looking at my pork. It's coming on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You wanna come and taste it? It look beautiful, but the taste. That it carry. Oh God. Don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. You should smell the aroma that coming from it. And it's not finished cook as yet. So you gotta cook pork good. Right. I have been cooking with ginger and everything in there. Alright. Okay. Guys, I put the rest of milk in the peas. We go and cook down. We go and cook. Let me feed one of the grain and the peas if it come in. It's still a little hardish, but I put the rest of milk in there. And then as you see, the meat is coming out. Look at it guys. Look at it. Pretty. Look at it. See guys? Already. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a pineapple juice maker already. We have the carrot and the blender for the blend now. Squeeze out the trash out too much, you know. I'll give it one more. Blend. One more blend again. Show you how many do with my juice. So I'm going to blend back and I'm going to squeeze out the trash out. I'm going to squeeze down a little bit and I'm going to re really blend back the trash. I'm going to add some more carrot to the trash and I'm going to blend it. To make it stretch. So you stretch it out and the other jewels to stretch, you know? So you don't want to stretch your jewels. You don't want to stretch your carrot jewels, I say, deal. So just squeeze out the trash, put it back into the blender, and leave it like a cut up carrot. Just add back to the trash to get back some more flavor in the, the water we have a blender, you know? So the jewels squeeze out the trash already, you know? So I just stretch your stretch. Wherever you can get out there, so instead of making the last batch so watery, you just add back some carrots 
we have put aside in a heat. So when I, when I blend back the second batch, it not so watery because the juice come out of it. Yeah, add back some juice to it and Let's put it down blend rich and nice. So the trash the water still orange here me because the little rest of extra carrot I'm add to it. So the second batch of blend in just water it because I'm juice it already. It all come with the same carrot and you get to stretch it the juice more. Yeah, so let's check your character to make it enough. I'm a bread genius, you know. I'm a bread genius, you know. I'm a bread man. So you can send me salt. And then Monday I run kitchen, you know, the man that thing turn up, you know. You know, sir. Before I come a foreign, the man that used to run the yard. And the man that left the yard. I need to cover the cooking till me reach us for the store. You never see it on my channel one day, you know, guys. You never see my max of a thing on my channel one day. Alright, let me get out this. Turn this somewhere. Get out the front off right there. Yes, guys. Um, I'm cooking pork. I'm gonna do a chicken. The fork that I'm using in the pork, I don't use it in my chicken. It's the fork here for my chicken. This is the pork fork. So everything, the everything in the green thing. So, I put. I got the pork. Everything in the green container here gonna go to in the, the pork. pork. Yeah, can't rest the chicken one in the pork. I can't rest the chicken one in there. I don't know, man. Me pork giving, still, but. People, we, we I have to get food. Pork, but I'm giving to cut to, to um, subscriber and then don't eat pork. So I don't mix the pork fork with the chicken fork. I use two separate fork, guys. As you see, see there? Two separate fork. This for the pork, this for the chicken.
oder hat es noch mehr Ohr? Ne? This is a carry to the week. I will not buy soda. I just cook in a pot and roll in there. I will not buy soda or juice and stuff like that. This is our pineapple juice. Pork is coming, guys, as you see. That is sticking right here. I can lift it up. Straight through, straight through when I do it like this. And I had making some cores in it, you see? I make some cores, so I throw the water straight through it. So the inside will cook. I turn it up and down. This is my lovely pot roll. Pork shoulder. So you can 
I do this. I turn it around. I'm gonna make it sit for like 10 minutes, be like that, and then I spin it around again and pour, pour some more water on it. So you see my pork pot and my pork spoon. This is my chicken. This is my pea spoon. I don't need the pork things in nothing more because I have people who do not eat pork. I used to have a restaurant, I have another restaurant. I used to cook stew peas there and cook, cook, um, we call it pork, stew pork, and I do not mix the spoon them together. So anybody can eat from me. I don't mix them together for I understand what people don't like from what people like. I am going to cut up the provision, the seasoning for the chicken. I'm going to get them prepared. Prepare my seasoning, guys. This is the bell pepper. Yes. The evening also have spelling. This is the key for the evening. I have spelling already. The seasoning with it. Small strainer to strain my hot off. I have this the garlic and can burn up in the pot. So I don't want those things to go in my pot. So see those are onion and garlic and things burn up. Mm -hmm. I wipe my stove off. I don't like dirty stove, guys. Oh, as I cook and the stove get messed up, I wipe it off. Well, I'm going to rest this aside until I have enough space. The space not big on the stove for it, but I just make sure brown them and put it down. I'm going to attend to the rice stop now. Getting some salt. Maggie. Larry seasoning. Adobe. And some accent. Sugar in my rice and peas as I tell you guys. Just a little. And I'm going to put a piece of butter in here and a little oil to moist my rice. Yes, you just need my butter now and a little oil. I'm going to get the butter in the fridge. Yes, 
Yeah. Um, I want it sure to cook a little more. And these pieces in here, I don't want it to match up, so I take out these small pieces. So I'll make the shoulder cook a little more. And you get more space. You get more space in there. I know through this part is thick, need more cooking. So after this cook, then I put a little seasoning in it. Like onion and all those things to make the gravy. But who want the pork? I'm not gonna have chicken gravy. Alright. I'm gonna wash my rice now. I wash my rice four times. Even though Jasmine don't wash so much time, but I like to see it clear. The water is clear. And then I'm going to put it through the strainer. Strain off all the water, all the excess water that left on it. I don't want the excess water to go in my pot. I make everything drained off. There are all the excess water from washing the rice. Come on. And I'm gonna put it in the pot now, guys. No water going in there. See me taste the, 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 the water instead of the rice it tastes in the Same way you see your water. You want your rice to stay same way. Also, you put it in the pot. That's me, guys. I'm a very passionate cooking person. It's a more time stick. I know this is going to need a little bit more water. So I'm going to tip back some of the water that I take out of it. That's why you have to put it down. Because I see the amount of rice that I put in there now. But I need like more water. I'm going to take water and I change the taste. And it's the same rice water yes, I sir. tip in there, yes. like regular water. So the taste so, is still so up. So the taste is still up, guys. It's booming. They are full of Kunta. <laughs> Kunta <laughs> said, booming. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cover it up now. Take your time. I'm going to check back on my pork in my pork pot now. I'm trying to make a little gravy in it. I'm going to take a little water in there. Turn up back some fire back. Taste it to see what the taste is like. <laughs> no one put a season for you put water in it. I need no put a season. Good? I need no season. Good? Yeah. I need to put the rest of the pork in there. I'm going to put in much. That's it. Mm. Also, support the you know. Mm. On everything already. You put salt in your meat pot? Mm? You put salt in your meat pot? No, I don't use salt. After using those seeds, I don't use salt. In the meat pot? In the meat pot, I'm talking about. Yes, after using those seeds, I don't put no salt. There is it's just enough. The seasoning is just enough. I don't use no salt. I only use regular salt like in the rice. 
Let's cover it back up now, guys. I'm making this sauce. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, this is this chicken uh, already prepared to go with the salad. Things I do it. Because of your work. Because he says my work. So kitchen of your work. I'm not, I'm not afraid of doing it. They call me kitchen mama, so. Kitchen of your work, you know. <laughs> kitchen of no man work. Man does better than kitchen go cook when you ready. He can come on, can come on right, right as I as I show it to you, see he can come right off right now. And I'm going to do it right now. Take it off right now. Mm -hmm. Turn the fire off. Put on the chicken on the fire. It's fried already, seasoned up already, everything. Just to cook down now, the, now guys. I'm going to stir my rice now. Oh. What are you doing? You can steam more. And brown color. You know, full up on a brown you know, and a blackening like what you put on the meat. I watch some vlog nowadays. Just season the meat alone when they're done. The meat black I ain't not go up on the fire yet. Just by seasoning up with the amount of brown in them use on it already. And you know when browning start cook it get blacker. And them say a brown stew, chicken, brown stew, whatever they cook. Get brown stew if you have a brown golden colour like this. Not black. That's a black stew. This brown straw. We don't cook black straw around here. And this is the nice, ripe, sweet plantain. Yes, that in my stir fry, I put just a small amount of butter. I put little oil. I put a cup of vinegar, and I put some adobo, some lari, and some accent and some and some, yeah, adobo lari. I put the bell, bell pepper green and yellow with the carrots, so that's it guys. Let's find the fire now. And that's my stew chicken. And that's my rice and peas finito. Doing the stir fry now. No carrot, no broccoli, no, no, you know, I change up my vegetable. I don't cook one thing straight, guys. I change up. No stringing and all of those things. Constantly cooking this, cooking, cooking it, cooking. No. That could do a little changing up. So I used to cut up the cabbage and just let it sit, let it sit like that. But no, I'm stir frying it today. Yes, guys, this carrot is for to sweeten it with suffragette, dragon stout, and the milk. And I have my vanilla and my nutmeg. So I'm going to put it on to blend now. <laughs> that sweat from it. I'm dishing it up because I don't want it to sit in the water to get saggy. So I dish it up with the water. Alright. Then 
This is it, guys. Okay, I'm going to cover it up about this. The steam. Steam out. Yes, guys. I'm going to finish doing this. And stay tuned until I'm ready to share. Yes, guys, this is my finishing touch of my pork shoulder and my brown stew chicken. See there, guys, if you like my video, yes, guys, all this food right here is my for subscribers. If you like my food, you like my video give a thumbs up and thank you subscribe share and comment and catch you in the next video coming it's gonna be an epic one guys